This webinar is part one of two, and this part of it, if I do my job right, you'll know how to start up outright, and you'll know how to, you'll know how the data comes in, and what you'll need to do with it, so that you'll be completely organized, knowing exactly what is going on with your income and expense. Part two is going to cover uh, what the tax reports will look like once you've done that. We're going to get started with Outright. You're going to see how easy and quick it is. I'm on Outright.com right now, and I'm going to put in my email address. It's this simple. I'm filling out two fields. I'm coming up with a password that works for me. And I can hit Start My Free Account, but quickly let me just say what Sign Up With Facebook is. If you don't want to type through that and you're more comfortable with your Facebook login, you can absolutely go there. We won't take anything or post anything to Facebook. It just makes logging in and signing up very quick if you use Facebook to do that. We are now in Outright and it's going to go through and give me some pointers as to what I need to do now. The first thing is going to be to link one of my financial accounts. Now throughout my usage, I can use many accounts, but right now we're going to start with one. Remember the magic of Outright is it brings in your data every night and keeps you updated. And it does that for multiple accounts. At this point, I'm going to pick Link a Bank, but I could have chosen uh, eBay or a credit card or PayPal, but I'm going to start with my bank right now, which is Wells Fargo. And I'm going to put in my username now and my password. And these are the credentials I use to go online when I'm going to Wells Fargo and checking my account. Now I'm not going to have to do that anymore once I've got Outright because the data will be coming into Outright and organizing itself. And what's happening now is the GoDaddy servers in Outright are connecting with the bank and establishing an authentication that they can get data and bring it from the bank into Outright. Outright will never bring data out. It will never post to your bank or your financial institution. It will just bring it in so that you can organize it. So what it's done is it's gone in and looked at what accounts I have with Wells Fargo, and it's asking me which ones I want to connect. So I'm going to choose checking. That's the one I use here. I could add another bank right now. I'm going to do that later, which is fine. And I'm going to add a credit card as well because a lot of my expenses go through a credit card. So to do that, it's the same situation. You're going to find your credit card and you're going to connect up here. Okay, so it says success. Your Chase credit card transactions are being imported. I can add another credit card or move on. So I'm going to move on. Here's what's going through my head. What I'm doing is I'm linking the financial institutions that my business data is in. If I do that with all the financial institutions I use, which in my case is a bank account, a credit card, I use eBay, I use PayPal, and I also use Amazon. Ultimately, I'm going to link to all of those accounts. I may have multiple checking accounts or savings accounts. And by linking to all those accounts, Outright literally will import that on a nightly basis, and it's doing so now for the first time, and organize those transactions into meaningful categories in my income and expenses so I know what's going on. I'm going to hit next step. At this point, I'm not going to import my PayPal. I can later. You could do it now or later, and we're going to move right on to, is this the information that I want to bring in? These are the accounts that I want to go into the using Outright. So I'm going to click Start Using Outright. Here's where I land. This is the home page of Outright. And all I've done is I've connected two accounts. Not all my accounts so far, but just two. And we've landed in a place that organizes my income and my expenses into, into meaningful categories and into months or weeks, if that's how I wanted to report to go through. And that's really what Outright does. It organizes your income, your expenses, and gives you analysis tools so you know what's going on in your business. And with Outright Plus, you'll get tax information. And, and information, your data, uh, categorized by tax lines. And we'll go through that part in part two. So let's get into some details, because the minute you see this home page, that's exactly what you're going to want to do. You're going to wonder how outright categorized your expenses automatically without you even touching it. So we're going to go into an expense ledger. 
Now, I could do that here, but I'm actually going to do it filtered by a category like meals and entertainment. So I'm going to click through here and look at what Outright has done to filter my expenses, to categorize particular expenses as meals and entertainment. Now they're all here, and Outright figured this out based on data it received from the bank or the credit card. So this is an expense ledger filtered on meals, meals and entertainment. And if any of this information seems wrong in any way, or something that's categorized in a way that doesn't work for my business, I can recategorize that. Now, right now, I'm going to recategorize this baby as personal, because while I used my credit card for it, I should have used a different account, but I didn't, or my, let's blame it on my kid. So I'm going to mark this as non-business. And what, I, what happens when I do that? is it lets me categorize all transactions for iTunes as personal. And I can choose to do that or not. If I do choose to do that, it'll take all the historical and all the future transactions associated with iTunes, and it's going to mark those as personal. And imagine what I've just done is done. I never have to recategorize this transaction again when it comes in. And so categorizing gets very, very quick to the extent that on a weekly basis, pretty much what's going to happen is I'm going to come in and I'm going to have a very small number of uncategorized transactions, if at all, because Outright remembers how to categorize your expenses and your income. And so to the extent that I don't get new vendors and new types of income, it's all going to be categorized for me. So what happens to those transactions that I marked as non-business? They are removed from my business ledgers, and they're removed from my business reports, and they're removed from the tax reports. Now, I haven't messed anything up. Of course, Outright doesn't send any information to the bank, and the transaction's not lost, even in Outright. It ends up in the non-business area, so if I were looking for something, I could go and find it. But it's no longer impacting my reports. Now, I'm going to take you through another case which is very common, and that's adding a transaction. Now, remember, the way Outright works is it gets updated every night from your bank, from PayPal, from your credit card, whatever you've linked it to. But if you use cash or you have another account that's not linked and you want to add a transaction manually, you can absolutely do that. Um, in my case, every once in a while, I'll do a business expense with cash from my pocket, and in that case, I may end up entering it this way. So I went to 7-Eleven and I got hot dog. Oh, well, I, it doesn't need to know that I got hot dogs, but I'm going to call it Meals and Entertainment. And I spent $13. And I can put in their hot dogs uh, for the crew. And that's it. I've just saved that transaction. So what happens is that expense is going to show up as meals and entertainment in the reports and in my tax deductible area, um, but it's not going to impact any of the totals on any of the ledgers. So if I were to go in and look at the account from an outright view, I won't see that hot dog expense in there. So everything is all clean and straight and my reports are now up to date. I got a free outright application on my phone. And I'm going to show you some pictures of what it looks like and how I can use it. And this is a really common scenario. More and more folks are, are now using Outright from their phone. It's free. I got it from the App Store. It's on the iPhone only at this point. So I'm going to click through on the Outright uh, icon on my phone. And at any given time now, I can know a perfect, accurate overview of what's going on in my business with income and expense. So what I'm going to show you is a super common scenario. The expense ledger that you just saw is sitting here. And one thing that I do on the road is drive. And so I'm going to go through and show you what that looks like. Because what I want to do is I want to deduct my mileage. And I want that to be kept in outright so that when I'm doing those tax reports, I have a total of my mileage. So I can actually add mileage from my phone and go through. I've got trips that are memorized there. I can add a new one or I can use one that I've used in recently. So I click on a particular trip because I need costumes for my particular business, 17 miles. I hit save and I've got my mileage tracked on my phone. Later when I go to the web and look it out right, it's going to have my mileage tracked there. Let's say I wanted to add an expense on my phone. And 
let's say I went to Soup Plantation, which is a restaurant that we often go to for business, I can tap to add a photo. Now, you might not immediately know why this is useful, but I'll show you. What's going on here is it's enabling me to take a picture of a receipt and keep a record of that receipt. And I can do that associated with any expense. So once you've got a record of that receipt, later, if you were to be audited, you could show a report, all of which could have, uh, you could have a picture next to, associated with all of the expense transactions. And that picture associated with all of those expense tra uh, transactions um, is necessary if the IRS wanted to see that. It's all there and recorded for you. So that's how folks use the mobile app. They're able to see exactly what's going on at a high level, add income or expense or mileage, and attach a receipt image to an expense. When I go to reports on the web application, I can do all kinds of analysis without having gone to much trouble to categorize as you just saw. This data comes in like this and stays up to date on a daily basis. Well, for example, on the profit and loss report, I can see based on whatever duration I want what's gone on income and expense wise. I can go through and, and choose only 2013 or bi-weekly and try to figure out my cash flow based on when data or when income and expenses are coming in. I'm going to click on something like biggest vendors and there is a corollary report associated with customers. So in this case you can see exactly where I'm spending money between October and March and I can of course click through to see that exact transaction. Let's say it's miscategorized or I want to get information about it or I want to attach an image to it. I can go through and click from there. I'm going to go back to reports and click on another example of a very commonly used reports. Report. So we just saw biggest vendors and that was my expenses by who I'm spending the money to. But if I want to just see what types of, of uh, transactions I have, I can go into the category report called your spending and I can see I'm spending a great deal of money on office supplies, on utilities, and I can click through and take a look at those. And that's really how the reports work, is based on the information that we get in, it shows you charts and graphs or tables to show you exactly what's going on. So in this case, I can look at here are the particular categories. Uh, and their totals based on a billing or a period that I am interested in looking at. So in this case, I haven't been very good with, well, you know, I just put this data in, so I haven't spent any time categorizing. So I can very easily go in and look at my list of uncategorized transactions and get going to teach outright how to categorize those things one by one. And while I'm doing that, I'm probably going to identify some personal transactions that I want to pull out of those business reports and pull out of my tax reports. Again, very easy for me to teach outright how to do that. And then continue to do that on an ongoing basis on my mobile device or, uh, or within the web. The most common scenario is our users get an email on a weekly basis that says here's your total income, here's your total expenses and they click through or they pick up their mobile device and they have this little notification. I have four uncategorized expenses this week or three or 20 or whatever the number is. In some cases I get zero uh, and I can go through and categorize those. If I keep up about weekly, I'm in pretty good shape assuming I don't add dozens and dozens of vendors as I go through my business. So now hopefully you have an idea of how easy it is to start using Outright and really how easy it is to continue to use Outright. With a very minimal level of effort, you'll be organized, you'll know where your money's going and how it's coming in. Part two, the next webinar, I'll go through the taxes and what we do to help you be completely prepared for taxes and it will be just as painless. I hope from here you're considering joining the over 250,000 outright users that we've got and uh, thank you for attending.